shoulders. Five, six, seven, here we go. We go one. I believe we're born to dance. It's inside all of us. And we can see that from the behavior of very young babies. So that we know that two day old babies can perceive different rhythms. When they measure brain activity in these babies, they get different patterns of brain activity depending on, on the rhythms they're listening to and whether certain beats in the rhythms are missing. And of course, if that's happening, if they're able to respond to different rhythms, it means that they're somehow understanding rhythmic patterns. So I want you to experience the groove. Some pieces of music make you want to groove and move more than other pieces of music. So I'm going to play you the piece of music that they argued was the most grooviest piece of music. Coming at the question about how we learn to move our bodies and what's going on when we're watching other people move, from a far more sophisticated level, we can start to fill in the gaps from little simple hand movements to the really beautiful and sophisticated movements that we perform in our daily lives. Lovely, just feel your bodies. We know, of course, that a few month old babies, they just start shaking and responding to music. Now they, now, they respond more to music and rhythmic sounds than they do to rhythmic speech. So it isn't just the rhythm per se they're responding to, there's something else in there about the music that is getting their bodies going. From the moment that we can walk, we're watching other people and we're trying to shape our actions around them. Our ability to kind of watch others and shape our behavior accordingly, this helps us learn new things all throughout our lifespan. And then by a few years of age, or four years of age, they're able to take that musical stimuli and they can move on a beat and they're internalizing the, the, the music and then anticipating it and then dancing to it. So I believe we are born to dance.